problems. So what they're asking us to do in this equation is to write the equation of the circle. So the main important thing to write the equation of the circle, we have to know what is the general equation of the circle, which was in your notes last class period, Guillermo. And that equation is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So write, to write the equation of the circle, we need to know the center and the radius. right? Because remember, the center is in form of hk, and the radius is equal to r. All right. So we go and look at our general equation, and we say, all right, are we provided what the center is? Or do we need to find it? Yeah, we provided the center. That's just h and k. Right? Perfect. Do we know the radius? No, we're not provided the radius, right? So in this problem, we're not provided the radius. However, if I plugged in numbers for x and h and y and k, would it make sense that I could solve for a variable r? Yeah. Yes. So I know h and k, that's provided to us. But it, what could I use for x and y? Four and zero. A point on the circle, which they give us, right? Remember, if you guys look at a circle graphed, that's the center h comma k. Any point that I say is on the circle is a coordinate point, which can represent x, y. The equation on the circle represents infinite many points, Amani, on the circle. So therefore, I can say that's x, y. So now all I need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is plug those points in and solve for r. So x is 4 minus 5 squared plus y, which is 0. Now here's where you got to be careful. It's y minus k, right? y minus, what is k? Negative 2. So it's going to be a positive, all right? Equals r squared. Well, 4 minus 5 is 1. 1 squared is 1. Plus uh, negative 2 minus 2 is going to, or negative 2 minus 2 is positive 2. Positive 4 equals r squared. 5 equals r squared. Four minus five. That's all it's going to be for that. So five squared is there. If I asked you what the radius was, you could say the radius is the square root of five. All right. But we're not really talking about what r is. We don't really care, actually, what the r is. We just want to know what the equation of the circle is. So the radius is square root of five. You square that, and it's just equal to five. So now that I know the center, can I plug those in for h and k? And now that I know what r squared is, can I plug that in? Yeah. And that's the equation of my circle. So therefore, I have x minus five squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 5. Notice how it's the opposite. It's opposite h, opposite k. Since h is positive, it's x minus h. Um, since k is negative, it's y plus 2. Right? So it's the opposite of those. And then we figured out r squared, which was 5. Any other questions on that? OK. Good talk.